very happy with how I how it ended up. So. Yeah. When should a parent start bringing their child into the dentist? Hmm. Um, so American Academy of Pedi Pediatrics. So I've also worked for a pediatric dentist. She's one of the most amazing ones I've ever worked with. Um, talking about mental health, when we were talking about that issue earlier, earlier uh, Mondays she reserved for any child that had any type of health, health mental health issue, um, whether it's autism, um, um, or like say kids with down syndrome, any, you know, anything like that. It was Mondays only. And, um, she was just amazing. Um, but the American Academy of Pediatric Dental Health, I think is what it is. They, um, they recommend it one year, um, or when that either for one year old or when that first tooth pops in. Mm. Um, so yeah, if you ask a regular dentist, they'll be like four or five years old because that's when we can handle them in our chair. But a pediatric dentist, I've, I've seen actually a newborn with teeth coming in, which was really Whoa. interesting. Whoa. Huh. Um, but it just runs the gamut when it comes to children. Um, and she was just, she knew her stuff, like really on it. Um, just amazing, amazing. And, um, I, I remember the only reason I had to leave is because I, my back can only take so much because you've got a wiggling like two year old and you're just like, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. you know, yeah, I can only do it so long. What would be the reason for getting a, like a, a newborn or a, not a newborn, but like a one year old or two year old in there? Because there's also different other things that can go on in the mouth. Um, you've got, you can get issues like if they have, uh, there's baby bottle tooth decay, if they're just if the parents, you know, and it's just, you know, and there's no judgment whatsoever, but sometimes parents just don't know. You can't really let your baby go to bed with a bottle because milk has sugar in it and then you can start getting decay. Mm. Um, and to in enforce or educate more like it. And not only that, with little ones, you want to make their first visit to the dentist a happy one, not a traumatic one. Mm. If you wait till that kid's three, four years old and they have all this decay, and then guess what? They have to go under, they're going to go through this pain. And you know, they're not going to like the dentist. There's a traumatic experience that I see as an adult happening there. Um, but yeah, you know, it's more for education purposes, I think, um, because a lot of people just don't know, you know, or to handle teething, you know, because it's painful for these guys to have, you know, you've got a tooth cutting through your gums. It hurts. You know, tell them how to handle that about nutrition, how to take care of the teeth, because they're really supposed to be brushing their teeth, their baby's teeth. The second you see a tooth, you should be cleaning it every night because they're eating foods, you know. Yeah, yeah. You need to keep it clean. So, yeah.